The cerebellum is primarily responsible for muscle control, including balance and movement. It also plays a role in other cognitive functions such as language processing and memory. Hippocampus is a complex brain structure embedded deep into temporal lobe. It has a major role in learning and memory. It is a plastic and vulnerable structure that gets damaged by a variety of stimuli. Studies have shown that it also gets affected in a variety of neurological and psychiatric disorders. Your medulla oblongata is the bottommost part of your brain. Its location means it's where your brain and spinal cord connect, making it a key conduit for nerve signals to and from your body. It also helps control vital processes like your heartbeat, breathing and blood pressure. Your amygdala is a small part of your brain, but it has a big job. It's a major processing center for emotions. It also links your emotions to many other brain abilities, especially memories, learning and your senses. When it doesn't work as it should, it can cause or contribute to disruptive feelings and symptoms. The frontal lobes are important for voluntary movement, expressive language and for managing higher level executive functions. Executive functions refer to a collection of cognitive skills including the capacity to plan, organize, initiate, self-monitor and control one's responses in order to achieve a goal. Thalamus is your body's information relay station. All information from your body's senses, except smell, must be processed through your thalamus before being sent to your brain's cerebral cortex for interpretation. Your thalamus also plays a role in sleep, wakefulness, consciousness, learning and memory. Pons is a part of your brainstem, a structure that links your brain to your spinal cord. It handles unconscious processes and jobs, such as your sleep-wake cycle and breathing. It also contains several junction points for nerves that control muscles and carry information from senses in your head and face. Temporal lobe is a part of your brain that helps you use your senses to understand and respond to the world around you. It also plays a key role in how you communicate with other people, your ability to access memories, use language and process emotions. The parietal lobe is vital for sensory perception and integration, including the management of taste, hearing, sight, touch, and smell. It is home to the brain's primary sensory area, a region where the brain interprets input from other areas of the body. The basal ganglia refers to a group of subcortical nuclei responsible primarily for motor control, as well as other roles such as motor learning, executive functions and behaviors, and emotions. The limbic system controls the experience and expression of emotions, as well as some automatic functions of the body. By producing emotions such as fear, anger, pleasure, and sadness, the limbic system enables people to behave in ways that help them communicate and survive physical and psychologic upsets. The pituitary gland is sometimes called the master gland of the endocrine system because it controls the functions of many of the other endocrine glands. The pituitary gland is no larger than a pea and is located at the base of the brain. The gland is attached to the hypothalamus, a part of the brain that affects the pituitary gland by nerve fibers and blood vessels. The pituitary gland itself consists of two major structures, anterior lobe and posterior lobe. The hypothalamus helps manage your body temperature, hunger and thirst, mood, sex drive, blood pressure and sleep. The primary function of the motor cortex is to generate signals to direct the movement of the body. It is part of the frontal lobe and is anterior to the central sulcus.